Connect is almost here and it's almost ready. And to be honest, here at Xbox, it is an exciting time. The team working on the Connect sensor has nurtured this incredible device, creating an amazing piece of technology that's not just brand new for gaming, but for everyone. And now they're ready to show it off. Before you get to experience Connect for yourself this November, we want you to get to know it a little better. On this developer diary, we speak with Raghu Murthy and Albert Pinello about the technology that lives inside the sensor and how it works to create the seamless Connect experience. Obviously, there's a reason we call Connect a sensor and not a camera because there is uh, quite a bit of complex technology inside uh, Connect to bring these experiences to life. There are actually three major subsystems in the camera. Uh, there's an optical subsystem, there's an audio subsystem, and then there is a motor subsystem. The optical subsystem is actually consists of a depth projector and a depth sensor and an RGB sensor. One of the great things about having the RGB camera in the Kinect sensor is that game designers have found interesting ways to uh, capture the movement that you're making. One of the things that the camera allows in things like Connect Adventures is at certain key moments the game um, can decide to take a picture and you'll see an icon come up on the screen but all that's really driven by the game. The photos are really under your control. Obviously the game has got to have a reason to do it. It's really game independent when pictures are taken or not taken and then it's up to the user to decide to either delete them or share them out to the world if, uh, if that's what they choose to do. The depth sensor is actually what discerns the depth in the field of view. And the way the depth sensor works is that the projector actually projects a pattern on to the field of view. So if I have my hand here, the pattern on, the, on my palm is different from the pattern on my face. And it knows based on the pattern that this hand is much closer to the camera than this, my face. One of the things that was really important to us with Connect was making it easy for people to set up. And really the motor is designed to help fine tune um, the user's play space. There's only so many different places in your room that you can place the sensor and you want to make sure you've got enough room to move around or in the right distance away from your couch or table. And really when you go through our setup process, once you've placed the sensor where you want, the motor is designed um, to sort of fine tune in um, your location and your space. The other thing it does is it adjusts for multiple heights. So if you're 6'5 and your kid is 4 feet tall um, and when you're exiting and leaving the game experience the camera can move and adjust in real time. The audio subsystem is actually a, a very interesting challenge in itself in, in terms of design and how we want it to work. Uh, normally, when you are talking to a microphone, the microphone is very close to you. So the challenge was to design an audio subsystem that allows us to pick up voices and pinpoint the source in a large volumetric space where they're not close to the microphone, and at the same time also be, have the intelligence to cancel all the other noises except the voice. And the audio subsystem has four microphones plus an audio processor uh, in the system that allows us to actually do sophisticated techniques like beam forming, which is actually allows us to pick voices from different parts of the room, and then have the ability to actually cancel out uh, either your gameplay noise or your movie noise so that you can still issue commands uh, in the system. I've been in the video game business now for a very long time and I've worked on a lot of projects and I've never worked on anything um, where people are as joyous when they play as with Connect. The experience of bringing this out to people, having them play, um, see it for themselves, the laughter, the fun, I've never seen anything like this as long as I've been working in this industry. We hope you've enjoyed this inside look at what makes Connect tick. For more Connect details, look for our other developer diaries and thanks for watching Inside Xbox.